Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. This week I had to do something relatively quickly. I've been working on a website for Much Props and it kind of distracted me from doing a build this week. So in order to kick one out this Friday, I thought I'd do something simple and do it in regards to the same Red Hood cosplay that I've been working on. Red Hood has a knife. Uh... I think I'm just gonna do a knife. Yeah, it'll be something quick, easy. I'll worry about the holster and stuff for it later. I'll probably include that in the strapping video and lighting video, uh, cause it'll be something small that can easily be done. But without further ado, let's build Red Hood's knife out of foam. Let's get to building. So this is a pretty simple build. I've made several knives and daggers on the channel over the past couple of years, and it's a great starter project for foam fabricators. The process is fairly simple. I'm just gonna hand draw my pattern by using a reference image. I have my hand handy as I gauge the scale to myself and the basic understanding that a combat knife blade can be anywhere from three to 12 inches typically. Mine ends up being about 10 inches long on the blade and the full knife being about 15 and a half inches. You could also print out a screenshot and use that as your pattern if you would prefer to not draw it yourself. Or you can download mine down in the description below. With my pattern drawn, I'm ready to trace it onto some foam and cut it out. Each of my parts has a name, if a part needs multiple copies, and the thickness of the foam I used for that piece. For this build, I use 6mm, 10mm, and 24mm foam. If you don't have those sizes or want to use other materials, go for it. Have fun and experiment with different products. The reason I use foam a lot in builds is because I'm super comfortable with the material. Trace the pattern. Cut Cut it out and use a sharp hobby knife or box cutter. Careful as you are cutting and pay attention. Most prop makers have tons of tiny scars on their hands from these cutting tools, a lot of which can be avoided by simply focusing when using. This dark gray foam is super dense and could probably do without a support wire in it, but I decided to put one in for good measure. I'm using some fencing wire I got at the local hardware store and put a slight bend into it to follow the curve of my knife, keeping it relatively close to the center. I trace the wire where I want it to lie and then burrow out a channel using the side of a sanding drum on my rotary tool. Once it was cut, I super glue it into place, push the other side on top of it to make an indention and then carve that part out. Then contact cement the two pieces together.
With the blade pretty much done, I'm now ready to shape the rest of the parts. The pattern is to give you the bulk shape of the piece. It then needs rounding over or beveled edges sanded onto it according to your preferences. After shaping the handle and holding it, I realized that my handle was a little bit too big for me. So I made an adjustment, trimmed off about an inch or so, and then adapted the pattern to reflect that change. When you're sanding foam, make sure to wear a respirator and work in a well-ventilated area. You don't want to breathe in the particles. For the assembly, I just super glued all of my components together. Visually, I just wanted it to be center aligned with everything. If a part was a little bit off, I could sand it back on a piece to make it more symmetrical if I needed to. The support wire will act as the tang to my blade and make it more secure to the rest of the assembly. For bigger weapons, I would recommend adding a little thin rectangle to the end of it and then slotting that into the handle to increase the surface area for your glue up and to be less likely to have a break at the handle and the blade. Mine will surely be for custom accessories and probably spend a majority of its time in a sheath unless I'm like taking photos with it, so not too worried. With the knife build pretty much done, I wanted to add one last detail. The handle on most knife contains a couple of rivets that go through the handle material and the blade to further reinforce them to each other. I'm going to mimic this pin rivet by pushing a stone bit on my rotary tool that has a concave top to it. I test it on a scrap piece of foam first so that I can see if the size is right. The alignment of these holes on each side doesn't have to be perfect as it won't be seen at the same time or actually serve a purpose other than fake embellishments, so I get them relatively even. Now time for two coats of Plasti Dip to seal the foam. Just like the rest of my armor set, I will leave the handle a Plasti Dip color as the base and do some silver rub and buff for the blade, handle guard, bolster, and the butt. The handle guard, bolster, and butt will get a dry brush technique where you lightly brush on the paint and the blade will get full coverage. This will give the appearance of two different colors using the same paint and make each component stand out from each other. And with that I'm pretty much done with my simple Red Hood Combat Knife build. I hope you enjoyed and let me know if you make your own.
and we are finished. Here is the end result. Overall, not too bad. It definitely came together really quickly. Knives are not really that difficult once you've got the basic shape of it. Just slapping a couple of pieces together and sanding it to bevel it to make it look sharp and you're pretty much done. Uh, you could do the approach that I took, which was freehand drawing it, or the easier alternative would be just to print it out to scale to fit your hand off of a screenshot or something. Um, but I, I, just, I just drew it, so... Yeah, maybe you will try and make something like this and impress your friends with your ability to make a knife that couldn't even stab a hole through a piece of paper. Facts. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? <laughs> Give them one of these. Tell them, much props. It's a weapon, you know the routine by now. Hold still. Uh, 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 you're gonna get hurt. If you enjoy what I do here on YouTube and want to see more builds like this one, please consider joining these awesome people listed here with me over on my Patreon to build a bigger, better, more creative community together.